Oh, look out. Gentlemen, footy was back. Oh, and now we have the longest time period imaginable before footy is actually back. Literally, yesterday was the longest period between footy, no footy, and then footy again. <laughs> Sigh. What am I going to do? Anyway, this is the AFL Today Show. I'm your host, James Collins, not to be confused with Adrian Hickmott. There's a famous ginger who's played in a uh, at least one losing grand final off the top of my head. There Maybe two. Anyway, this is the AFL Today Show, and I am joined once more by our very good friends at Top Sport, the home of footy finals, who bring us this show each and every day. And, of course, my two very best friends in the world, one little fella in the middle, the stats boy. He was stoked on the weekend. He had a great weekend. He's out there hanging out with his Canadian girlfriend, causing all sorts of trouble. <laughs> stats boy. Let's oh. go. That was an awesome weekend. Uh, happy that I was the only one to tip the line, so they got the job done. Awesome to be at the grand final. was yeah, absolutely awesome, unlike uh, some other people on the panel that might not be too happy. And on the other side is a bloke who had a great weekend as well. His team was the best team in 150 years. Uh, they won the grand final. Oh, wait, no, they lost. <laughs> the jinx they lost. from ah, Jim officially came geez. through. <laughs> jeez, you hate to see it, don't you? It's Alex Donnelly. Uh, at least I had Will Haywood. <laughs> God <laughs> bless him. <laughs> had 20 bucks on him and it paid for my day. There you nice. go. Nothing happened after that, anyway. No, I no. actually I had a great time at the Katy Perry concert, though. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I like that. I was about to say Kevin like a wrecking ball, but that's <laughs> yeah, Miley. That's Jim's next year. Jim knows anyway, the next yeah. year. Yeah, so. Jim's already on board for next year. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Shush. All right. Can we bet on that? Joe, look, this is the bloody hell Brisbane are the premiers for 2024 show, which is not something I probably thought we'd be saying in about ooh, round seven. No. Uh, Remember when crazy? we did the this is Brisbane's games for the rest of the year, they're going to struggle to make finals? Mm. That was a good one. Good, yep. good job, us. I always believed. Don't we worry about that. We didn't write them off completely, though. A lot of people wrote them off. Well, like, it was before that Western Bulls event. Uh, that's have... enough talk. This is still the bloody intro. Shush. Uh, <laughs> subscribe to the YouTube channel. Get around AFL today on all the socials, all the fun stuff there. We are going to be covering a bit of footy all the way through the summer. That's what we do. But this is the grand final rap show. So we're going to do some winners and losers. No surprises as to which one lo- Alex is. Just saying. <laughs> just saying. Uh, the grand final is done, Stats Boy. Footy isn't back until... AFLW again this week, which is good. But that's Tomorrow great, yeah. night. Exactly. Footy is still going, but AFL still going. men's footy is not back. Yes. AFL men's won't be back until next Feb, March, which just hurts my heart a little it's bit. sad, yeah. Thing is, get around the W, get down to Princess Park, Icon, whatever. Whit Noble, awesome. Wednesday, Wednesday night. night. Yep. It's going to be fun. But the grand final's done. Footy's not back for a little bit. Let's do some news before we do the wrap. Hey, the West Coast Eagles have a new coach. Yeah. Cool. It's not Stephen King who nearly died. Uh, like, we didn't even really hit on that. No, we, no. we hadn't talked about before that. before the Geelong prelim. prelim. Yes. And then we did not talk about it in the post-prelim shows because yeah. we had a grand final to set up. That was horrible, But though, he, yeah. like, passed out, mm. and taken to the hospital. Very, so very so. randomly, yeah. Uh, Andrew McWalter is actually now the new West Coast Eagles coach, a.k.a. the only bloke who could cop dealing with more losses on his resume. <laughs> and he's like, oh, yeah, what else is going to get worse? And everyone's like... Yes. <laughs> yes, it will. No, I don't know. What did he win? One is – was he interim last year? Yeah, he was. Yeah. Yep. So that's fine. No, I think he, I think he'll be – apparently he's a really good assistant at – was he Richmond? I else? mean, he'll be there for two years, possibly three, and then they'll get a new coach. Yep. Load up with 30 <laughs> losses at least. Back and boom and away, yeah. yeah. Uh, and speaking of West Coast, Liam Baker's officially requested a trade to West Coast. Yeah. Uh, and Jack Graham's going to go there as a free And Jack agent. Graham possibly as well, oh, yeah. Uh, possibly on top of well. that, I don't know, Port Adelaide and Carlton are – working through some differences with Dan Houston. But yes, and North, North Melbourne are like, here. Like, everybody hi, shush. Hi, hi, everybody shush. We're, look, the trade stuff, that's going to keep. Later this week, we're going to we'll set up the trade period. Mm-hmm. We're going to wrap up every team season and set them up for the following trade period, which will be the next couple of weeks. That's oh. good. Uh, every single team. All of them. Absolutely everyone. I might cover some, you know, more than others, but either way. Free agencies Friday, I think it starts I think at 11 a.m. on Friday and away we yep. go. So we'll set you all up for that. Let us talk now. <laughs> About yet another blowout grand final. Oh. Before we do it, quick look. How was the day, gentlemen? Beautiful weather. There was a lot going on. <laughs> you had uh, Dane Rampy taking his hand off the cup. Well, I was with Alex on the, the Friday, the public holiday. We were at the AFLW, uh, what was it, Collingwood Gold Coast yep. game. Alex, while the game's going on, he's eating his hot chips, as always, doing his chip review. Check that out on the AFLW Today socials. He's uh, looking intently at KO on his phone going, oh, crap. 
De- Rampy, please, 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 do not take your hand off the cup before Neil. Do not take your hand off the cup before Neil. And he's like, oh, crap, we're going to lose the grand final. He pretty much called it the day before. An he action replay. Happy. I was not happy. Yeah, that was a little action replay. Jeez, he was almost as big a curse as Alex being at the game. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, uh, apparently Harris Andrews told Lockie Neil because Harris Andrews held the cup last year and he regretted it. For the all summer saying, I shouldn't have taken my hand off the cup because Collingwood like made a big deal out of it. And Harris Andrews like, oh, I'm not going to worry about it. Rampy said the same thing and then lost. Dane so. Rampy did it two years ago and <laughs> yeah. didn't learn from his mistake. Exactly. Like, what the hell, man? Don't Thought take your hand smarter. off the cup last. What are you know. doing? He's, that, that head of his is going to hold up a lot of hair. Like, and just, he was also, we were talking about, he was also so angry. I found why was out, he so angry? I found out why. Oh, there's yeah. a reason? Yeah, there's Okay, a reason. well, yeah. still, anyway, it was a bit weird. Yeah. That's What's the reason? Oh, uh, he was, he, he, I can't swear. He was really angry with the AFL publicist because they kept trying to take photos. He's like, piss off. What I do you mean, take photos? Training. He's on the stage for the yeah, cup. Yeah, but no, the Swans had to go to training at the MCG. Oh. They had a specific amount of time locked in to get their training. I thought it was going to be something serious. Have a no. sick day, Randy. Cry me a river. Yeah. Uh, BT. <laughs> I've got a few thoughts about this BT in this, in this uh, entire show. Really? So I don't want to step on this too much, but it was weird that he like teased this big announcer. Oh, it's going to be an emotional During the week, day. Yeah. Something's well, going to happen hey, after the game. Apparently. It's going to be emotional. Mm. I'll tell you what, Darcy, it'll be emotional. Luke Darcy's now gone as well, which is pretty weird. <laughs> uh, but BC teased a big announcement, and everyone's like, what was it? And just radio silence. Mm. Did, I, didn't you say it had to do with both clubs? Yeah, he said it had to do with both clubs, but then the rumour was Joe Danaher retiring, Joey but that's obviously retiring. not to do with both clubs. How the hell do the Sydney Swans care? Maybe Sydney getting Joey Danaher? No, I don't know. I so, that's a weird one. Yeah. I thought it was like Bruce is coming back. I'm like, yes. Oh, maybe. Well, people were also talking about, were hoping that it's like nothing to do with Bruce. Like if it was like <laughs> oh, health related or something, because it was like not. a big emotional thing. So, But nothing ended up coming out. Yeah, yeah. Nothing has come out yet. So a bit great job by BT just to really cap off a really just <laughs> diamond plated weekend for the bristle. <laughs> Katy Perry was pretty good. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Hey, Jim, did the, you miss it all? Yeah. Oh, why? Yeah. You're on KO, weren't you? I was uh, trying to- I was on KO, wasn't it? No, I was on nah. Foxtel. Oh, I wasn't. Oh, I wasn't on Foxtel. Oh. I was on Foxtel. And I was skipping around- uh, Rookie era. Organizing kids. Yep. Making sure they were sorted. Meatballs. And then we yeah, click it over <laughs> and we catch the end of it. I'm like, ah, oh. ah, oh, that's annoying. Was that five million bucks worth? But the cool thing is I just watched the entire thing like on a combination of then YouTube and the AFL. Yeah, yeah it was everywhere Twitter, anyway. So. It would look cool. But yeah. gnarly. What was it like being there, gentlemen? It was pretty good. It was very good. It was very weird with the- um, The goon bags? The go- yeah, the goon <laughs> bags. Everyone's calling. Like, Australian culture. <laughs> and then Tina Arena came out for 30 seconds to sing cool. Chains and it was like, her microphone's turned down really low. She did more than five songs as well. It was like seven or eight yeah. songs. I know yeah. it was a bit few like medley sort of thing, but we, yeah. That's it was what cool. you're always going to do. You're always going to whip out a medley. Yeah. yeah. So she did, I think she was good. We had one new song, which everyone was like, well, yeah, this one, cool. And then rolled into, I think, California Girls. I'm like, yeah. I yeah. spent so much time, like even watching the replay, just going, oh, I don't know any of the words to these songs. You don't, you don't know them, do you? No, no, not oh. off the top of my head stuff. Oh, there you go. I'm not oh, a massive yeah. Katy Perry oh. like you. No, I'm not, but I knew most of the words. Uh, but the Goonbag stuff was awesome. I love that. It's like an absolute, <laughs> was commit- like, don't say Australia has no culture. <laughs> we have plenty of I thought she was going to bring out Pesto as well the, uh, well thing. she needed like what she needed was a Hills Hoist where you yeah. play Goonbag Roulette yeah yeah. Oh, oh, true. Goon of Fortune Goon of Fortune yeah uh, <laughs> either way looked good Firework was, was pretty a good, good. Finish it was a bit weird the uh, was it the AI or whatever they're talking about on the, on the screen I didn't see that you could see it on the big screen but was it a bit weird on the, on the screen I don't know Although I saw, that's what I heard my biggest thing is tell you what <sighs> would have been a bit better if it had been at Twilight <sighs> Just, nah, uh, it was a beautiful day to be out there in the sun at 2.30. Nah, you might do a big awesome thing like that in the middle of the day. Uh, outside of that, I think it was still 10 out of 10. Like, it was awesome. She was yeah. big. I was reckon great. it was as cool good, entrance. if not better than Robbie. Mm. I liked not as, not as, the performance not overall as of Kiss was cool. inspiring yeah. as Robbie. <laughs> and the crowd was more into it with Robbie, I think. Yeah. yeah. But Katy Perry was still awesome. Katy Perry was fantastic. Yep. 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah. Uh, we'll get to winners and losers, but she's a winner for me. Yeah. Spoiler yep. alert. Uh, <laughs> Haney has a stress fra- fracture in his ankle and basically had it for the entire final Finals. series. Yeah. Cool. Lockie Neal couldn't walk all exactly, final yeah, series. Exactly, yeah. That's what like, I was going to say. Don't. Everybody was in a moon boot, basically. Yeah. People are sort of <laughs> roasting him, saying they brought it out now. Like, it's fine. Well, the fact they, that yeah. the, the, they are, he got asked about it. Well, yeah. he's also the medical team at three quarters time said, You're not going back out yeah. there. Your ankle's cooked. Yeah. Mm. So, so that's also everyone from Brisbane was half cooked. So don't yeah. care. Yep. Good call. Yep. Uh, and then, as a nice little capper on everything, so the Lions went to Brunswick Street Oval. That was really uh, cool. Yeah. Which I thought was gnarly. That the was old awesome. home of Fitzroy. Fitzroy, yeah. Played cricket there a bunch with the old pub cricket. Yeah, I played footy there. Yeah. Uh, our old 
you know, associate producer Josh hit a six to win a game off the last delivery. Oh, no, they were Josh. down by five. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. cooler than Brisbane lifting the cup there. <laughs> it was literally the sickest thing I've ever seen. So I lost my mind. So the great. top five, name your top five moments of Brunswick Street well, Oval. That's number one. <laughs> and then Brisbane Fitz, lifting the cup. Fitzroy playing there back in the day is yeah. number two. It was insane. Uh, but that was kind of nice. And then after the women's team beat the Crows. Yep. That was really cool, yeah. They all sang the song together. They brought it all together. Yeah. And yeah. that was awesome. They put the cup in the middle, obviously, the, the women's team. The was there and sung well, the song. They made the, the premiers as well. Uh, reigning made premiers. the effort to get back because a bunch of staff had to fly out at like at, on Saturday night to get back for oh, the really? W there game. So And then uh, you had um, uh, Taylor Smith, who's leading the goal kicking in the women's, yeah. do the big O celebration. So he's been coaching the tools at Prison Women. So yeah. that was after the game, they're all just going up to the uh, crowd going, big O. That was, that was awesome. Tribute to uh, Oscar McInerney. Very of course. nice. Yeah. All right, outside of that, the parade was a bit of a fizzler, I feel like, with the stupid new route. Um, we were at the Friday. women's game. I, I, see the we, I got caught trying to get oh, yeah. to the W. <laughs> yeah, it was hard. I was like, I'll just walk, you know, walk through the MCG down and punt around. I'm like, that was oh, not a good the parade idea. goes through here. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. The dumbest man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Jeez. Uh, outside of that, though, I think that's the problem. Like, in the city on a Friday, like, it's chaos. It's awesome, but it's a great, awesome chaos. It was great atmosphere. I walked it around the cool. G it was after the game. Cool. It was awesome, yeah. Uh, still, nothing better than uh, the grand final mm. long week. I was also walking to the women's game, and I saw, like, like from 50 meters away, two people in Suns gear. I'm like, this is weird because it was like ages away from Punt Road. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you can't wear club gear if your team's not in the grand final. It was Dimmer and the CEO of Gold Coast. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. Right. Then we saw, yeah, Rowbottom's family with the swans. Stats, and gu Stats guy broke in to yeah. Punt Road with Cheeks' parents. Oh, we had a pass at least. We didn't yeah. properly break in, but yeah. Good stuff. They, no, but don't worry. Get to the bloody game. Jeez, all right. <laughs> is this Before where Nick Dacos said it sucked to watch the game because he forced himself to go and it sucked to watch it? Have a cry, jeez. He's already won one. All right, very, quickly, very, very quickly, before we wrap up this grand final, Vince. <laughs> very quickly, yeah. <laughs> BT, what was that? It's an amazing thing to see Dennis Pagan oh. hit, win a grand final. You're like, what Chris is on? Fagan, he mate. literally said that. He literally said Dennis. Like, yeah. Not only do you like just sort of screw up Chris Fagan, maybe you say Chris Pagan, oh, it's a slip. No, nah, just called him flat out Dennis a Pagan. A whole different premiership coach. A bloke who's not coached for literally decades. Years, yeah, yeah. What, what are we doing Dennis here? is training horses at Flemington. Yep. He like went into real, real estate. estate. Yeah, real he's estate a, no, he's a horse trainer. Yeah, oh. I know, but he went into real estate prior to that. <laughs> ah, horse yeah, training. Yeah, he's a big real estate Away guy. he goes. I think he's the only person to have like a group one winner and a um, flag. Yeah. <laughs> Which, <laughs> he trained the Victoria Derby winner. Yeah, he's, he's awesome, yeah. So BT was shocking. And it's one of those things you're like, yeah, is the emotional thing just him retiring and hanging up the boots after these mate what, Darce has mm. gone? Because tell you what, he had a Barry Crocker shocker. Well, it was horrible. <laughs> uh and John Longmire, a bit of a fraud watch. Yep. That's the other fraud One watch. One and four in our grand finals now, which we touched on the other day. Three of his six biggest losses have come in grand finals. Yeah, it just looks like all this, the structure and everything has gone away on the big day, which I is brutal. I will talk about this in you the will, game yes. wrap because uh, I've, I've got thoughts. We have. So we will wrap this game, but we also have some amazing grand finals. Stats and figures. The yes. Stats boys put together. Yes. We'll get into that after we talk about the game. <laughs> Let's go. The 2024 AFL grand final. The setup was fun. It was beautiful. Yep. The Over setup was fun. 100,000 people there at the MCG. We'll get to that later. Yep. We had the march from Union Street, the Swans fans. It was awesome. Oh, very nice. nice. Uh, a very, very similar start to every Brisbane game, I think, this final yep. series, where it's like tight, scrappy, miss, nothing's happening chances. at the start. Miss, 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 miss. Bang. Off it went. And yep. then in the second quarter, they went kerpowie, and it was all ovary for the Swans. Nine, <laughs> six, 60. Doubled up 18, 12, 120. How good is this? Points is like, in a grand but final. how good is this as a numbers nerd? Everything is perfectly doubled. Yeah, it doubled. was nice, yeah. yeah. The squid absolutely loved yeah, it. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. A bit dad, of a dad, 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 dad. It's double. Nine, six, <laughs> 18, 12. Ah! <laughs> and he has like this delighted <laughs> laugh where he's just like, this is the greatest thing ever. Oh, yeah. I'm absolutely beside myself. So uh I'm getting a phone call from New York. That's weird. Yeah. That's oh. probably a problem. Anyway. The Knicks. Um, the, yeah. <laughs> finally, I'm getting the call. Out. <laughs> your your like, money hasn't come through for yeah. the tickets yet. <laughs> Adam Silver's like, finally, all right, Jim, VP of Commerce. So you're a Nets man. He's like, I've been listening to NBA Australia all these years, and finally, <laughs> you've got the job. No, grand final. <laughs> it was just missed chances early on, left, right, and center. Mm. If, I don't know, if you're a betting person oh, like I was. first goal, that was brutal. first goal was oh. absolutely a Barry Crocker shock at left, right, it. and center. Yeah. <laughs> Chucky Cameron, he's awesome snag. Yep. Like 35 metres directly in front, just sails it right. I was already counting the dollars. I'm like, this what is are you going to spend it on? 
got to pay for all the bloody pasta the kids have eaten. <laughs> the meatballs. Anyway, the meatballs and the grass pasta. <clears throat> yeah. They love that. Anyway. <laughs> uh, and then it went just like swans. Papley. Hayward, Hayward was the first one, yeah, yeah. It was like Papley's goal going. was sick as well. He got pushed as he kicked the it. The handball was off. great that was nice. from McLean. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, that's about it for this one. Yeah, and then, and then uh, it was all pushed <laughs> That was the end of the allies, basically. Yeah. The Wait, Wait, actually, che- Cheeks kicked a goal. Our man Cheeks. Yeah, yeah. Man Cheeks we were actually excited goal. about that. Yeah. Cheeks was phenomenal. Robot Just waited for Ned Moore to kick a goal in the next year's grand final. The... There was few or about the lucky Neil non uh, non advantage. It was because it was paid a mark. Yeah, you're not allowed to play on from advantage yep. from a mark, as it turns out. Also, you can't, obviously that yeah. was weird. No one Everyone's cares like, about the umpires. People were like losing their well. minds about that. Well, actually, we go back to Vencesh for a second. Egg was the umpiring in this game. No, yeah. but it's it's always better when it's a smack. No one no, cares about the umpires when it's sixty. Points. Yeah, but there wasn't any like there was no prob- howlers, There was no probably howlers. one free kick was, the whole game. There was one online. stupid fifty where yeah. it was like, yeah. oh, he didn't. He went over the mark. That it's was like, a bit that stiff. That was yeah. absolutely yeah. Yeah. brutal. But all the rest, they were actually good. I'll there was oh, it was one when Archie kicked the goal, but he cleaned up Blakey's head before. Oh, he, Blakey went like this. Yeah. He was picking he, up the footy. It's like, like I don't know. Some animals are just like people, Mister uh, Mrs. Simpson. They're just jerks. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Blakey was doing. <laughs> like headbunning dudes in the stoon. <laughs> anyway, uh, but it but, was like tw- like twenty six, twenty seven free kicks. Yeah, it was fine. Like that was it. it. Was good. Like, whenever yep. you don't notice the umpires, that's great. That's what you want in a grand final. Simple, right? Yep. Yep. Uh, but the Neil play on, they brought it back, and Chucky misses the bloody thing. And you're like, oh, just brutal. Just so angry. Uh, but outside of this. Kai Loman then oh, just goes, hey, I'm this is neat. Player. I'm not afraid of the big stage. Check in my head. <laughs> Four go. goals, three in the first half when the game was in the balance. He's kicking them from all angles. He had a few like bending left he and right. He never looked like missing. He it was, was amazing. He was so, so good. And his speed to get away, I think they laid a few blocks on him. It probably helped him a little bit. Brisbane were really good at laying blocks and getting Loman open, but he was awesome. So I guess the thing is like by the end of the first quarter, the Swans again – Weren't leading? It was eight points. Yeah. They kicked the first two, which I didn't think they would. They don't usually do that, but they weren't leading in the first quarter. Yet. But wasn't it wasn't feeling bad. It was only eight bad. points. Yeah. It was like, okay. Exactly. It was a great first quarter. Like mm-hmm. It was back and forth. It was very, very tight. Lohman yep. kicks the uh, first two for the line, yep. didn't he? Yeah. Yep. And or well, huge McCluggage got in there too. Row bottom and Chucky kicks one. And you're like, all right, sweet. <laughs> we're on here. This is very fun. And then it wasn't uh, fun if you're a Swans fan. No. Nope. That second quarter, that was nuts. Was absolutely eye flipping mince because you had Lowman's goal answered by Robbie Fox. Yep, and that was the fifty. That was Fox, it. Yeah. Then you had about ten minutes of tight tussle footy. Yep. Then Joey Duckett's gives us. Oh, yeah, we got the full Joe. I wrote that down. You we got, got full Joe. Two we goals, four, Joe. sixteen as well as eight marks. But he also had that one in moments. the goal square where he gave it a fresh airy. <laughs> he he's, he had literally full, he literally did some of the craziest things. He missed one from oh. ten meters out, and he yeah. missed one from three <laughs> centimeters out. And yeah, he still kicked, yeah, two. Amazing. So he kicked one there. <laughs> two goals, four. Calamar cheese started to rolling, and you're like, when Calamar cheese kicking goals, you're like, oh, we're in trouble. He was awesome the whole. Fight. And this is the thing that sort of stood out to me. Like Hipwood kicked his. No, I think the we got to talk about the Hipwood one. Yep. Yeah. Archie, and then we basically get to the halftime mark after Logan Morris kicked the goal, and you're like, oh. When McLean missed that goal, I was like, oh. yeah, done. And then when Hipwood kicked that, I was right behind that when he's gone right to left. You're like, why is he having a shot from there? Oh, my God. No, he said he he's brought out the Acker. He's gone the full Acker celebration. I thought that was awesome. I love the Acker celebration. It was that funny, was though, nice. because he didn't do anything else, but he brought out an Acker celebration for like a legend. But I did respect that a lot as a Brisbane player. It's very hipwood to do it as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially when he like, freely- how did he kick that? He's he not that said, he's a crap he's, player. He said, I shanked it. <laughs> yeah, he kicked it off the side and he just went <laughs> perfectly. Awesome goal. So what was your vibe after that second quarter, Alex? <laughs> oh, at half time it was over. <laughs> yep. I was the, the way that, are you, Kans. the way that they just run straight through the swans yep. midfield. They were handballing for fun. They were finding uncontested footy everywhere. Mm-hmm. So this is exactly how I was. Wor- I was worried ten minutes in when Charlie Cameron is laying a tackle on the half back flank. Yeah, he he, he pushed back. He was, was really like, good at pushing back. Yeah. Oh, I did. Okay, know. and then the way they were just working, I was like, where I wasn't entirely happy at quarter time. Mm. I was like, oh, there's there's a few worries here. I was like, there's some moves Longmire needs to make because the Swans' game plan was, oh yeah, we're going to do the Luke Parker on Alia, but on Harris Andrews this week. And Harris Andrews killed it. You don't it. just kick it straight to Luke Parker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You look for an option. That's a good point. There Very was a couple point. of times Chad Warner got the ball and just said, oh, yeah, that'll work. No, nah, straight to Harris Andrews. Like, oh, yeah, this, 
This sucks. It wasn't great. I came, I came to the gut running, I reckon, from Neil and Ashcroft as well. Like, every time I was at halfback or half forward, Neil and Ashcroft there were just there. So they, they was, was, their fitness and, like, ability to run up and back, Neil was had, it didn't the even humor, have a heel. Was it the humor cluggage goal in the first quarter where they went from basically bang on the corner yep. of the square into the midfield, chip yep. over goal? I was like, it was so it was quick. When that happened, yeah. I was like, yeah. so, oh, that's not good. That second quarter was like every Carlton fan just having PTSD from the elimination <laughs> final. Yeah. yeah. It was like, oh, they're good. That's what they did to us. <laughs> they're doing the absolute Leo. Leo, man, oh, I'm drinking beer. Oh, hey, I was doing that on the couch. I'm like, oh, hey, the car, what are you doing, man? <laughs> like, it was crazy just how yeah. similar it was where this one just couldn't touch the ball. No. Nah. Yeah. And you're like, oh, my God, they can't. Like, this is one of the just best contested ball winning teams out there just going absolutely hammer and tongs over the top of a team like the Sydney Swans, who just, they don't play games like that. No. Ever. It was well, crazy. Not Apart ever. From, know, Port Adelaide Port. and Richmond uh, and yeah, a few games. But still, this was absolutely remarkable. That second quarter just blew the doors open. This was where my like annoyance in Long Mai came in. When they had the bit of the roll on even 10 minutes into that second mm. quarter, it's like, make some changes. It looked like Be you guys agile were, in the coaching yeah, box yeah. like you were against Port Adelaide. Mm. 10 minutes in, Aaliyah's taking three intercept marks. Okay, let's put Luke Parker there to play a decoy role to stop Ali from getting the footy. It worked. Longmire just like, oh, grand final. <laughs> Don't know what to do. Freeze. Well, He's like, oh, I'm way ahead of you. Yeah. It looked like a lot of your like defense was like sort of a structured zone sort of thing. Instead well, it of, wasn't it, that. It was I, just I, their, I it was more their midfield just waltzing they, through. Yeah, that's why. Instead of sort of being like man on man a lot of the time, there were so many times where Ashcroft, Neil, uh, Dunkley were just run, bursting through the contest and there's no mm. one right next to them. I felt like they were just, yeah, Sydney were just not close enough to their opponents. It's so. a worry when it's half time and your best player is Robbie Fox. Yep. Yeah, de definitely. Uh, six of the top 11 rated players were obviously Lions. Yep. Wait, and Swans had five of them? I, actually, that surprises me, yeah. But that was it. This is when you, if you actually reverse it to the champion data player ratings, weirdly enough, the Swans had like really high ratings. But that's so champion and then you watch the game ratings, ratings, like, that's, nah. that's not it. What yeah. are we doing here? So it was a bit of a weird one. Because like Parker probably had decent player rating, but he got three goals in jump But the time. thing was, Lockie Neal finishes on 35 disposals. Ashcross won 30. Yeah. Yeah. Zorko's on 26. Then you finally get to some of the Swans. Mm. And if you just look at the, the overall sort of team stats. Oh, they got blitzed. Same, they got absolutely well, smashed. Well, this is exactly what the Lions did Some of the big stats, Swans... We're actually, Swans were only two less inside 50s. They were only a few less clearances. It came down to- We're about a billion possessions yeah, behind 80 that. less disposals, which yeah. is massive. So 70 exactly less 80. marks. 75 less kicks. And then the stat I brought up- The problem was yeah. the marks and the tackles. Yeah. We just, it's just like, what do you do to stop Brisbane? You don't let them chip around and take uncontested marks. I said and that during the week. all yeah. they were doing in the first quarter and half. It's like, man up. It, how, like every Swans fan watching could be like, surely the message from Brett Kirk is like, boys. Man up. Yeah, so you Lions, can't let them play their game. Yeah, they like to play and that's the exactly chip, what Brisbane loves doing. That's exactly what they did to Carlton. That's exactly what they did to Geelong last week as well, right? If you let them get their speed up, it's like mo they basically create their own momentum. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they do they this time. Geelong, the yeah. GWS let them do it as well, and that killed them. Like, this is a team that has now won the grand final after being down 44 points to GWS. Yeah. It's an unreal run. Being down fifth, how much to 28. Geelong, 28 to 28. Geelong last week in the third quarter, and then just going, doesn't matter. Check this out. We'll play our own game. If you can't stop us, we're going to run right over the top of it. Yeah, their own game is with uncontested marks, which I brought up last week of why I think they can win, was they 12 of their last uh, 13 times they've had over 100 uncontested marks, they've won. That's and, a good stat, and, stats, boy. And the last two times they've played Sydney, that. they had oh, over geez. 100 uncontested marks. What else you got? That's all. I've got I've got Lacey Go more later, but that's the, that was the main one I wanted to That was to a good about. one. Here Say it go. again. I loved it that much. <laughs> 12 of the last 13 matches where Brisbane have got uh, over 100 uncontested marks, they win. And they've done that the last two times they've played Sydney and won both of them. So yeah. they had over 100 contested marks this time. Uncontested. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, what happened? They won. Oh, not bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good stat. There we go. Who'd they play? Uh, I don't know. Sydney. Sydney. Yeah. All right. Jeez. Yeah. I hate to see that. Best team in 150 years lost. <laughs> I was like, where's he going with this? I think I killed by that one. <laughs> That's a good stat, stats boy. Thank you. There's lots more to come. And then that third quarter, <laughs> they could just never make any inroads. Like they nah. just kept, Brisbane just kept playing their own way. Like was it 46 points at the half? 46, 48? Something like that. Uh, let me have a quick, I'm not 46. sure. 46. And they just couldn't make inroads at all. Like Haney kicked his own goal, only goal midway through the yeah. third quarter. It was the one time handy someone for worked people's multis, a hole. Yeah. Very handy for the multis. But yep. geez. That was about it though. Uh, Logan McDonald was gone by the third quarter as well. Subbed out with his ankle. <sighs> Did so, he have one disposal, I think? For yeah, one he, disposal he, for he the took, game. He took a mark near the interchange bench and then hit the target. <laughs> it was 100% disposal disposal efficiency. Yeah. His player ratings through the roof. Yeah, 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 boys. At least I was one for one. Oh, I was worried about him during the week and he but obviously again, gets So 
go back to the, dis- the disposal thing and like just the the ratings as well. The big problem is for Sydney is that of the bottom ten. Oh have yeah, nine. Yeah, yeah that was all the forwards. Yep. Yep. So it's I will McLean, say McCart- well McCartan, Amadi, yeah, Malik and the Pelican had two like half decent moments. Will Hayward. Rough game, Braden Campbell, Logan McDonald. They just couldn't Harry get Cunningham anywhere well. near it. Harry Cunningham did beat Charlie Cameron though on the day. Or kept Cameron had one, a lot of the ball. Kept him the one he? goal. Yeah, but he had three chances on goal. Happily with 10 touches. I think we had one of the stats prior to the game. It's when he has 15. They yeah. basically they win. win. Yeah, he couldn't get near it. Because he, he, he got Starsevich. Yeah, Starsevich, Starsevich was unbelievable. After yeah. Starsevich got killed in the grand final last year, this was his big revenge. Starsevich has had two or three finals this uh, season where he's had 15 disposals and just dominated. That first half, I'm like... Could he win the Norm Smith? Yeah. Like, check this out. And he's he so good. Just went in a, into more of a negating role in the second yeah. half. Him and awesome. Harris Andrews. There was a couple of times when the Swans ready. were threatening to score that it was him or Harris Andrews that stopped it. Yeah. yeah. And it's a lot of people don't talk out the backs. Those two were just lot, unbelievable. There's just yeah. so much like weird athleticism between those two. Mm. Like you look at them and go, they can just do everything. They're fast. Like Stars, right, yeah. I don't know, he picks up the ball and you're like, how, A, how did he get to that? B, how did he pick it up? That's awesome. Like that's what you need for a footballer. He's like, he was over there. There was over there. Yeah, we'll let like you H- that way. He's an HBA head. Like what are we doing? <laughs> it's amazing. That's, there you go, Stars, you should be the uh, star of a HBA, HBA head. Yeah. Uh, and then they sort of just kept them, yeah. to put them to the sword. Well, Archie's like, oh, I'm going to get in on the action. Four goals as well. It's like when the five-year-old just sort of starts swinging at me. Like, Dad, I'm just like. <laughs> hand, hand on his head just push him away and he's just like swinging underneath yeah. like, digga, 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 digga. that was what City were doing they had nothing yeah uh, wait we were swinging not really yeah I paid that <laughs> yeah, was, yeah I was just standing there I mean what in that third quarter it was a what Sydney kicked one goal five to one goal yeah, yeah. Uh, quarter yeah following after a seven to one. after seven to one yes. after a seven to one uh, second quarter so yeah. across a half of football Sydney they won kicked, the last quarter though Sydney <laughs> kicked one goal Blue. two goals three rather I think right to twelve yeah, yeah. So that's, that's wild. Not great. So. No, not at all. <laughs> Do we have a grand final problem? Uh, with in what sense? In that only two of the last twelve haven't been basically blowouts. <sighs> so I think it's a grand final. It's going. It's footy has gotten better. Like there's been more. I feel like it's been more close games during the season and in the, the other finals every year. Just the grand final, we've just been a bit unlucky. A bit unlucky, I reckon. Interesting. Well, because how can we change that? We can't. We can't. Of yeah. course. It's just. It is a just been a bit really real. Like after so many stupidly amazing games, really yeah. awesome games this season. Yeah. It was which included both of these teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a lot of the time. Because everyone's going into this going, all right, Sydney will probably have the edge, but it's probably a 50-50 game. Awesome and 60 finals points. as well. Boom! Here we yeah. go. And then. Basically, as it all winds down, James Brayshaw gives us the wildly lackluster final call. Uh, <laughs> Can't and, wait to watch Fox <laughs> next year. <clears throat> and Norm, the Norm Smith goes to, of all people, Will Marcus Ashcroft, <laughs> as uh, our beloved little stats boy calls him. Or Levi, whatever you want to call him. 30 touches, a goal, five clearances, 11 score involvements, beautiful bustling hair. Awesome. Just flowing as he kicks it inside 50 one more time. He was oh, he was just unbelievable. Obviously coming back from an ACL injury uh, last season, didn't get to do preseason. Old mate was watching this going, so, so how good. long has he been around? Oh. And I'm like, Bruh. six minutes. Yeah. Half, basically half a year. Yeah. Like Nuts. he's played two halves of a year. Yeah. Like it's insane. It's like what, game 27 for him or something? I think it's 31. Leo total. actually sent so this one in there. Will Ashcroft was born, grew up, debuted, won a final, won a grand final, and a Norm Smith, all before Essendon won a final. So great uh, little pick up there by uh, yeah. Social Gallery. And really sorry fun. to all the Essendon fans yeah. out there. No, that's no, just, no, that's we're hilarious. not sorry. No, no, that is hilarious. He definitely 100% stepped on one of the grand final winners, but that's fine. Yeah. It is a great one. I love that. Uh, <laughs> so imagine just, to the point where I'll just say it again later. Imagine yeah, him not? with a preseason under his belt next year. Just yeah, and playing with his brother. Playing with his brother. It'd yeah. be almost as good as the Camp Reale twins. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> has, has brothers ever won back-to-back Norm Smiths? Interesting. Probably right. not. <laughs> Norm Smith, was that, a, was that the right call, Ashcroft or Neil? For me, watching the ground, I thought Neil was going to win it. That I was thought just... Ashcroft was going to win it at the ground, but Neil, in terms of that stat line, is very, very Neil was every – anytime you're like, oh, he's got – oh, Lockie Neil's got the ball again. Oh, with, oh Lockie Neil again. I, he was getting him in weird places that you don't that's usually what I mean, when expect I'm from Neil as well. When he's like, reading, out, like yeah. way out on the wing, it's like, yeah. oh, he just won the ball But again. all you're seeing him, it was him just working. And you're just like, oh, yeah. I, it, well, I thought, this was the yeah. – you know, everyone's like, oh, a few people like Lockie Neal needs to do it in on the biggest stage of all because, you know, he definitely is did, he yeah. just a stat padding Brownlow Meadows? No, nah, he we'll, bought we'll it. We'll get to that in winners and losers. Yeah. But yeah, I think it was out here in uh, Ashcroft and Lyman yeah. for me. Nice. Yeah. All right. 120 to 60. How are the two fan bases feeling after <laughs> that? <laughs> it's Brisbane, pretty easy, yeah. <laughs> Brisbane, I feel like you're feeling pretty good. Yeah. You just smashed the Swans. You came from fifth 
That was awesome. Like that's the way you win a grand final, apparently. Just Six go. finals appearances in a row. They finally got one. Fagan, just awesome coach. Yeah. Twenty year anniversary of the last time they were in a no twenty three twenty one. Twenty one. Twenty one. Twenty one. Twenty one. Yeah, that, do, that yeah. sounds right. Yeah. It was two thousand three. They won. Yeah. They yes. went one two three. Right? What year is it again? Uh, and also, Fagan, oldest oldest premiership coach and also first non non uh, this first one person to me, yeah. not play in the AFL to win a flag. Yeah, as a coach, yeah, which really really surprised me. But they're the highest level. We is. are yeah. a very if you look at sports all over the world, they have coaches that have been brought up as coaches. Yeah, I don't know why we are so. It is uh, one of the strangest, most uh, only pick AFL, AFL players. Bizarre yeah, bizarre yeah. thing that we have going. It's like. There are a couple of very, very unique AFL strange aspects of of this beautiful. Like game. it's very specific and to the sport, yeah. Right. But I, I, know, I thought there'd be some other coaches out there that would go through the ranks, but we just don't really have that in AFL. I actually think like Wayne Britton was also another dude. <coughs> yeah. So former Carlton coach, mm. horrible Carlton coach, uh, but he took out took over after David Parkin. Yep. And before they brought in Dennis Pagan. And, uh, yeah, it was in the same sort of thing and just, like, failed dismally and was not helped by the simple fact that he hadn't played at the highest level. But I don't think, and like, I don't like think a, it really, You have to. But I think yeah. it would get to a point where it won't matter as much. In 10 years when Daisy Pierce is coaching West Coast. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, that's a good call. Right. The other fan base. Alex is right here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Piers. Just <laughs> honestly can't believe it happened again. That was worse than 2022. It was worse? Yep. You didn't get... No, you- because... In 2022, we were year? the plucky upstart yeah, with a young team going true, up true. against Geelong who had everything going for them. Right. This year we're going in as, as favourites, best, yeah. best team all year, yeah. and then just years. get blown off just to get blown off the park like that. It's just no, that's a good call. Also for the team to do it again in a grand final. Fourth time in a decade, you're just like, this, this just sucks. What about the the gym base? Not, not so what? much a fan base, but just the gym. The gym. Well, yeah, that's. I was stoked by this. <laughs> it, it worked. I spent all year on this. This. I, I just, think it's been at least fifteen weeks that you've said that Sydney are the best thing in hundred fifty years. No, no, that's boy. It goes back to the start of the year. Does it? Okay. I have painted my masterpiece. <laughs> I mean, you, you. This is why I don't like how he's he's molded this. This has it's nothing Sydney to do with. Would have said I called it, and yeah. now now that's in the other one. He's like, I called it. That's part of the masterpiece. <laughs> do you not understand this? No, it actually is. I think smart. this goes over your head completely. I'm just this saying. This is why it's not that impressive. Prior to the season, do you know who I picked to win the grand final? Who's GWS Collingwood. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, I who Brisbane. was who, who was my next victim? Essendon. <laughs> the Essendon Bombers, the best team we've seen in the AFL this year. There we go. Hey, okay, here. now you're making Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> uh, and then who was the best team in 150 years? <laughs> oh, was it Sydney? Oh, oh. wait a second. Okay, I, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. See, doesn't need to put the mock on his own team because he knows they'll do it yeah, themselves. He, yeah, he well, pretty much are a byproduct of this. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they they just still just can't will screw it they're up gonna, themselves. They're, I don't, they don't need my help. This could be the best part of any show we've ever done. Oh, I love but this. that is how you have a season long just season absolutely jinx. bang, bang, <laughs> bang. In the crosshairs, got him. Right, let's do some stats from the grand final. Stats, man. Let's go. Stats and facts, because they're not all uh, specifically stats. But we've got, uh, I'll start with Josh Dunkley. Uh, this might annoy Alex a little no, bit. No, because I can tell you what happened. I know. Josh Dunkley said that he didn't want to go interstate when he was drafted, but now he's got two flags against them. Obviously, a father-son, he could have gone to Sydney, so that's a bit brutal for Swans fans. Andrew Dunkley? Yeah. Yes. So Andrew had a falling out with the Swans when Paul Roos took over as coach. He didn't want Dunkley as a part of his staff, and then Dunkley just moved back to Victoria and when you move from Sydney and you're not talking to the club anymore, you yeah. just fall no, away. No, it's all fair enough, but it's just and funny it's, that he's and then it was like, flags. Yeah. When the draft was coming up, they're like, okay, like, we'd like to have you. And he's like, I don't want to go into state. If a Victorian club picks me, please don't. Why is he yelling? I don't know. <laughs> if, <laughs> if, if a Victorian team bids, it's going to at some point, but it's If boom, a Victorian team bids, you know, don't bid on me. But if like someone like a Brisbane. Yeah, right. That's cool. Anyway, anyway it's just got, funny that he's got two awesome. flags against two Sydney flags. who he could but, have played for. But they're on all, two but different teams. The media running with the rhetoric, oh, the Swans should have picked him. The Swans got Callum Mills in that draft. That's I think fine. they're cool. It's, it's still the How stat is Josh Callum Dunkley. Mills That's hilarious. Missed two grand uh, finals. <laughs> I, also, I also love that. Like, I stand for, like, if your dad's got a problem with something, backing up your dad. Yeah. All but it had nothing to do with his dad. He was growing up in Melbourne. Yeah, but the point was, his dad had already had the falling out. Anyway, that's enough for him. That's great. That's great. Just back him to the hill. Yeah, it's a bit of faith in your old yeah, boy. Fair. I got a, a feel good one. Darcy Fort uh, obviously came in for the game. Only what is he played thirty six uh, games. 
in the AFL. Six, he got overlooked in six AFL drafts, was an emergency in 10 of the last 12 Lions finals. Comes in. His biggest fan on the day was the Big O. That I think we're, Jim got, wants we're to talk, talk about, about that later, yeah. but just an awesome uh, story for Darcy Ford just to win a grand final after just 36 games. So that was pretty Love cool. Love that. Chris Fagan being the oldest coach. Yeah, we touched on that it's before. Oldest coach and then... Uh, because I think oldest coach is like one of those things where we see a sea change of yeah. like, basically your dudes are like younger than me. Yeah. And you're like, that's weird. Oh, maybe I should coach. <laughs> and uh, But it's like you have this moment where with such young coaches, you – like David Parkin is like handing over the Premiership Cup, I think it was. Was he? I didn't even see that. Or like maybe – it was something to maybe Chris No, Baker. he was. Actually, he was, yes. And uh, you're like – I think old mate was like, geez, David Parkin looks old. And I'm like, David Parkin always looked he, old. Yeah, what are you talking yeah. about? He was old in 1995 when the Blues won the flat. What are we exactly. doing here? Lee Matthews gave the track. He is 82. Lee Matthews, like, yeah. like, like, Lee Lee Matthews looks really old. Lee Matthews always looked old. <laughs> yeah, he and did always look old. I think you sort of see that so much of like the passion and the vibes from Brisbane were just like, we got Fags one. Yeah. This is awesome. Stoked for him. He's also the second ever premiership coach from Tasmania, which uh, Vic Belcher from 1922 was Who the can last. Forget? Who, Who can, can forget? forget? Never forget Vic Belcher. The great 1922 Vic Belcher. Uh, premiership coach. The so second one from Tassie, which is I pretty cool. I believe it's pronounced 1922. 1922. There we go. 22. Uh other ones there, stats man. Go yeah, I've got a couple more. Uh, Leo will be happy with this behind the camera. Hawks have beaten the last five premiers in the regular season. Hockball. They just they defeated funny. Brisbane earlier in the season. And yeah, if your Hawks beat them, they got a chance of winning the granny. So maybe that should be a tactic team well, should the go. Blues into lost next to year. them this year as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's so, going on? Yeah. Next year, we're laughing. <laughs> so that was well, no, pretty you gotta, good. You've got to lose to them next we year. We will lose yeah. to them next year. <laughs> yeah, you will. Yeah, you probably will. Uh, then the last one I've got is there's been six straight MCG grand finals of over 100,000 people. Just got over the line. I reckon they've just added on 13 here to make it look good, but 100,013 people went through the gates. Nine short of capacity. Yep. And was that because did, Sam McCool didn't make it in? Ah. Yeah, did you see that? I forgot. <laughs> that was pretty funny. It looked fake, but that's all right. Either way, it was, that was very funny. But I don't know. I'm a bit sus about that. Uh, 13. You, you and Dan Sherney are on the uh, the conspiracy theory track. Oh, I've never really thought about it until I saw that. Because yeah, a couple of other Sherney seasons. and Tina Arena can go hang out. <laughs> hang Honestly, out in wait, uh, well, who else would you want to be around? Because you're all in chains. <laughs> that's a power <laughs> trio. We, we would have a great sing-along at a karaoke or something like that. I <laughs> That's awesome. Because uh, the last other the last two before that were one hundred thousand and twenty four. It's yeah, just a bit it's every it's, seat. It's twenty four just over the You're 13. in the MCC. How many people are standing up in the bars? Uh not as many as usual, to be honest. Yeah. Find an empty seat. Because it was very easy to get a drink. There wasn't any empty enough. seats near me. Righto. Oh, no. Anyway, that was awesome. And the other grand final stat fact, John Longmire. Yes, I was yeah. Which one we talked four. about before. One in and four finals. in grand finals, which is brutal. Obviously a great coach. When it's Sydney great, but can we do some other stats and facts? Yeah. Like uh, I mean, I am I am ready for Longmire to finish up. So twenty fourteen. Oh yeah, I have I have that up as well. Yeah. One thirty seven to seventy four. I literally said three of his six biggest losses have been in grand final. Twenty sixteen, yeah. eighty nine to sixty seven, eighty nine to sixty. That's the dogs one. That was decent. Twenty two one thirty three to fifty two. Twenty four, sixty to one twenty. Those they are just pretty bad grand final get losses. Smashed in grand finals when they've been yeah one of the best teams all year or 150 years whatever we'll you probably, want to call it. We'll get to that in losers. Yes, let's do it. Grand final winners and losers. Let's go. Winners, 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 winners. Big O. Yeah. That dude uh, should never have to buy a beer again. Also, that give dude, him a bloody premiership medal. No, that, give oh, him a premiership medal. Like, uh, if you, you're, that's just a party pooper. If you yeah, generally you are, think that, that is he doesn't, he played all season. He deserves a premiership. Medal. Without he deserves big o, more than Rob Bob Murphy. Oh, no, he, without the big O, they're time. not in the grand final. Exactly, he's a great. Simple Ruckman. as that. Yeah. Yep. He gets them over the line in those finals. He helps. He's awesome. He deserves one. Yep. Uh, but the best part is, the big O's vibe. And oh. outlook on this entire weekend from the get go, there's never mm. ever a scaric of sadness, mm. of regret, nothing. Compare that to Taylor Adams, who did exactly. not even get on the plane absolutely to come to Melbourne. No that is a joke. Yeah, love yeah. that. Like what Big O, his approach was absolutely fantastic. Team player. Most stoked for Darcy Ford more mm -hmm. than anything. Just the sheer look of child when he ran like the, the field, light. he's like, <laughs> he's like, this is awesome. And he didn't. He wasn't even celebrating like the light. He's celebrating Darcy Ford. Absolute team vibes, mm. and there is nothing better because it could be the hard luck story. He took it from a hard luck story and made it an awesome story. Yeah, yeah. that is so cool. Like Callum Mills, we didn't hear a boo basically about that story because they sort of nipped it in the bud, which yeah. is fine. But at the same time, he was on the bench coaching as well. Exactly. Yeah, good he, on him, yeah. It was really That's cool good. that they let them do them both in the senior leadership well, team. He'd been doing good. that all year when he was like recovering for this one. So, like yeah. he had the headset on, was yeah. helping out with tactics. That was and good. That. So, yeah. other winners Will Ashcroft. 
Yeah. Yeah, fair. Youngest ever uh, Norm Smith medalist. Pretty pretty good. Great hair. Tori's ACL halfway through last year. I know. Comes back, wins the bloody Norm Smith medal. That's, That's ridiculous. What a season. What a legend. Yep. And you get him cheap as chips and super coach next year, too. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. Oh, yeah, true. Cannot Because he's averaged 112 in finals. That is a great so call. So good. Great call. Uh, he was fantastic. Youngest ever Norm Smith medalist is a yep. stupid, it surprised me a bit, stupid accord. Like, that is years old. In terms of accolade, you're like, dude, we have 100 billion years of <laughs> AFL Norm <Really>? Smith. <laughs> Basically, the best player in a grand final. Yep. yep. Like, it's almost immutable. Like, how you go back through the history of the game, there's one or two weird ones, Jason Johansson, and you just go, that's weird. Nah, I think he deserves it. He, yeah, I do too, but it's just weird. Like you look there's at the names, ones, yeah. you look at the names, yeah. you're like, yeah, greats of the game, absolutely nonstop. Will Ashcroft's like four years old, and <laughs> he's one of Norm Smith. He's like, he's like the squid. He's like, oh, dad, kick to me. Like my squid was stoked. He took two marks when we're playing backyard footy on Saturday. Did you give him Norm Smith? I kicked it to him about 800 million times. He could mark it twice. <laughs> and like, Will Ashcroft's like a year older than him. He's out there <laughs> winning Norm Smith medals. It's insane. <laughs> I love that. They call Will Ashcroft the prince as well. Prince Charming. They I like that. On, on oh, the he's got Prince Charming. Yeah, yeah that's why, because of the hair. They, yeah, I found great. that out on the weekend as well, yeah. It's better than Jamie Lannister. Yeah. A bit of those vibes too. Uh, Ashcroft's in general. Just winners. Marcus and his brother, Levi. Yep. Because you, you mean his son Levi? We, Will's Marcus, brother. Yeah, I know what he meant. Marcus's son, Will Ash. I meant the brother, right? So because Brisbane are winners overall, they won the flag and they get what could be the basically the number one pick. In that this annoys year's draft me so much with Levi Ashcroft. We talked about this. I was talking about this. I know that it's just luck and it can always happen to anyone, but they need to give. You should have to give more for the number one pick. If if like if that guy is going to be the number one pick, that ah. Uh, but when it was Collingwood, it was ah. Oh, how lucky Collingwood oh, I said to get the same thing about Collingwood with Dacos. Yeah. But because it's Brisbane, it's like oh, this is unfair. Anyway, no, you and should you have to pay through the nose. Like even Carlton with the Camper Gallery twins, like we sort of like know. Yeah. Then it's going to cost. I just think it's a sucks. bad look that the premier of the whole league gets the best player or one We're of the best players. Sorry that his son is good. No, no, it's just luck, and I, I, just, I just think there needs to be another a process, and uh, you have to give more for it. That's my. It's, kind of, it's like the mid eighties Lakers, how they get James Worthy. Yes, Google that. I was about to say, what good father sons of North got? Like, uh, Jackson Archer is going to be good. I do, oh, yeah, I do believe fair. that. Yeah, but Cooper Harvey, yeah, yeah, not Oof. happy with him. Shots fired by Stats Boy. Yeah. Oh, Cooper Harvey's going to punch in the back of the head. Uh, Jackson Archer kind of is good. I'll give Stats Guy that. Yeah, All right, yeah. Lockie Neal, he's a winner. Yep. As we hit on before, this is the last little tick on his resume. Two-time yep. Brownlow medalist. He's done everything now. Performing he's done GF. Absolutely gone off in a grand final, helped win the game. They ran over the top of them. With no it's heel. Cool. He was in a moon boot straight after. He, he said to the doctors he doesn't want to know his scans this week, and the doctor's like, Oh, man, I think I should tell pretty, you. It scared. sounds like it's pretty. <laughs> he's good. like, you might have to chop off your foot, but he's like, no, I don't want to know. I don't care. So like, he was in. He was like limping around the night before, apparently as well. So they obviously had to jab him up. Killing injections. Yeah. So we hit on this, I think, in the Brownlow show, maybe about it's like ah, it's lucky Neil, really three time Brownlow medalist. He's a freak. This is awesome. Yeah. yeah. Like this, as I said, resume is now done. Yep. Oh, it's awesome. You're an all time great Premiership player. Yeah. Didn't win the Norm Smith, but it's because you had freaky Will Ashcroft, who's like four years old, winning it. That's cool. <laughs> oh, yes. uh, but 35 touches in the grand final, showed up big time. They yep. won another game in the MCG. That's huge. Fagan, a.k.a. Dennis Pagan. Yep. <laughs> yeah, got in the BT, yeah. That's huge. Big win. Just love that for him because- He seems like a really good guy. How many times guy? has he been fired in the last five years? Oh, it's at least once, once or a year. twice, yeah. Once no, no, year. not as much as Ken. Ken's yeah. once or twice a year, but- It's yeah. crazy. Awesome He's, story. He's yeah, great coach. If he was in anywhere basically other than Brisbane, would he have been fired? Yes. Mm, nah. They, yeah. made, they made the finals last six years. Yeah, but what? Nah, I don't think so. They might have moved him on I think, at, what, two and five or whatever they were? Mm, no, nah, I think he was all good. Did no. you actually see when he was putting the cones down on the training on Friday that the crowd was going nuts? So every time he put a cone down, they're like, oh. He put down <laughs> 10 cones. The crowd, they were doing this thing. That's so good. The players were doing this thing in front of the a crowd, and the, the crowd was just watching Chris Fagan putting down cones going, oh, hey. It was so Crowds good. are awesome. And Chris Fagan was like, yeah, put an extra crowd. It was very funny. It was, all right. It was uh, Josh Dunkley, love that for him. I think that's awesome. Like, like winning again against also, Sydney. No, but hilarious. also trying to leave the Western Bulldogs to go to Essendon, it getting rejected, yeah. and then 12 months He's later, like, Thank God. going to Brisbane. <laughs> yeah. Big winner. Classic awesome. Essendon. Uh, Joey Essendon. Z. Yeah. Joey Duckett's love that for him as well. We a, saw the most emotion out of Joe ever when he kicked that so second cool. goal. Yeah, it was he, so cool. He gave a fist pump. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that was the most emotion we've seen he, from he Joe ever. I feel like I may have tweeted out in a haze of like awesome grand finals that like watching Joe Danaher win a grand final before Essendon win a grand like, yeah, final is just kissing fingers emoji. Like it's just fantastic. 
TV ratings, huge. Yeah. Was it good? I didn't even see yep. it. Massive. Okay. Uh, no surprise to anyone when you've got the other two capital cities. Yes. Uh, as well as like, you know, everyone in Melbourne just go up oh, 40, 40, 40. I saw 40, 40, 40, 40. A, a photo from a pub in Sydney where it's in Surrey Hills. They basically, there's a park next door to it. They put a big screen in the park oh, and cool. they had tables from the pub overflowing into the park. That is, that is very smart. So very nice. nice. Good job from the clock in Surrey Hills. Nice. Now that everyone, all those uh, fake Swans fans have to uh, <laughs> get, what, on, get on board for no, it. Was it Penrith this week? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 Penrith and Storm. Oh, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> They're Eastern Suburbs fans. They won't jump on board. <laughs> Katy Perry, grand final winner. 10 out of 10. Love that. Yep. Yeah. Which was fantastic. Uh, in terms of the money spent. We got more than a million per song, I guess. Yeah, fine. But she it, also it was did a bit more too much. press than any other actor done pre grand final. She did grow a lot. Uh, like she's, also got a, she's got a brand new album out. So like the timing and was very, tour. very nice. So mm. she's back in 2025, folks. Get your tickets here. Uh, I just saw it. I'm good. Did you see every single club tried to give her a jersey as well? I know that happens every year, but I hate, I hate it. it. Like it was Hawthor- every, Hawthorne, and- Hawthorne, Essendon. Uh, that was it, wasn't it? No, nah, there was a couple more. I don't every know. club. That's True. every club. That's all the all I said the ones almost every club. But <laughs> and then finally, <laughs> the real the winner of the grand final. Yeah, this guy is legend. The Brisbane bloke who told every single Lions player, shake the bloody kids' hands. <laughs> he was in real serious. Don't forget, <laughs> shake their hands. Yeah. And everyone's like, oh, you God, better yeah, do yeah. it or you don't get a beer. You go every year, the Oscar kid's like all nervous. And uh, then, oh, no, I'm going to see my hero. And then the players don't even acknowledge him. They shake the hand, put the hat on, give him a little little head head rustle. They put on the medal. Yep. They shake the hand. It's put easy. The hat on. It's a three move deal. That's Usually simple. about eighteen players stuff it up. The only one stuff it up this year was Charlie Cameron. And he- Darcy Wilmot's another winner grabbing the mic. <laughs> yeah. What did he say? I couldn't no even knows. understand what he, he was said. Just gibberish. I, I'd oh, wait. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, all right, thanks, Justin. Well, <laughs> so, it was, so it wasn't like Croft, that's what I'm talking about. No, oh. that, that was way better because it was very yeah. clear. Or the Brett Kirk one. No. Hamish. No. Brett Kirk, uh, before the game. He did not. Yeah, after he did, this is for the bloods. Oh, Hamish yeah, had fun. absolutely no idea what was going on, which is good. And, uh, surprised <laughs> to nobody. He's like, something off script. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's back for it next out. year, by the way. Oh, my God. I don't mind him. The world's most beige dude. Uh, losers. Oh, no. This is a, this is a lot. Final losers. Horse. Oh. Yeah. Horse. Yeah, horse Longmire. Sorry, mate. It is LeBron esque at this point. <laughs> but at least He's LeBron, not the goat though, but yeah. Like Sorry, everyone's sort of like argument against LeBron of oh yeah, he makes it there all the time. It's great. Yeah, but he always loses. <laughs> well, so what's LeBron's record in finals? <laughs> but that's it. No, no, LeBron's final is way better he's though. He's good now. Yeah. LeBron's so, good now. Because by the be. time they won the Lakers one, I think he's now one he's now four from I wanna say uh ten. Okay, oh, that's yeah, actually 10, yeah. Yeah, so yeah 10. He's got yeah. the four he's got the four uh four titles, but only So he's long mind prior to that though. So <laughs> long mind needs to win the next one. Five more years at least. Or, no, or just win the next one to go two and four. Yeah. But that was the thing. So LeBron was staring down the barrel of he was at three and nine. And yep. like the thirty three percent hit rate. That's a lot. Two of them came with the heat. One was the amazing one with Cleveland, and then they could just never get past the Warriors. Uh Sydney don't have a Warriors. Because like, it's, it's just always someone different. It's just, <laughs> yeah. Every time. It's just like they're actually – it's like they get to the NBA finals and go, whoa, we don't know what we're doing. And like if they go to the NBA finals, you'd expect them to do that because they're a football team. But <laughs> I was going to say that. Yeah. Every time they get to the grand final, yeah, it's not like there's a dominant like club that's running rough, like mid th- mid-teens mm. Hawthorne. Ironically, there's no enough. one dominating who, who three years ago. Exactly. Yeah, that's different. Or like a Geelong or, exactly. a, or a, uh, Richmond, for example. At yeah. the same time, it's like been different teams each time. It's been different. Is it a so. mental? I said before the game, I said, is that no. 2022 grand final still in the back of their mind? No. I, I don't know if it is. We actually can't even answer that. No, properly. it's not that. It but was, do you think it is? No, it was once again for the third consecutive grand final. John Longmire has taken a oh. player who was clearly underdone into the game in Logan McDonald. Oh, I said that and you didn't agree with me on that one. Well, at oh, you the time mean, when, no. you, when they're like, yeah, his ankle's fine, we're going to pick him. It's not like Callum Mills with a hamstring. You could tell 15 minutes in, his ankle yeah, wasn't yeah, yeah. good. Yeah. So he's done it in 22 with Sam Reed. He did it in 16 with McVeigh, Mills, and someone else. It's risky, yeah. Too risky. You've got, it's at the point where it's like, okay, we've got a guy who's good at getting us there, but he's not good at getting the job done. He's been there for, what, 12, 13 years by now? Yeah. Dean Cox's uh, team. 13 years, yeah. It's Dean Cox's team. Oh, he's already off the he's horse. By the coach. Last he's week you were saying he's one of the best coaches ever. Well, he's yeah, he is gone, one of the great Swans coaches of all time. But there's clearly a problem that when you get to the grand final and oh. you freeze in the coach's box and can't make changes on the run, yet during the year when things go wrong, you are up, yeah. you are not afraid to make changes. Like in 2022, throws Paddy McCartan forward in the last quarter. 2024, throws the Lizard forward in the last quarter. Why late, not make those late. changes yeah. 10 minutes into the second quarter? 
Uh, Lizard, do you want to go hang up in the Ford line? Yeah, righto. <laughs> sure. Yeah. That, oh, come on. No, I agree with that. You hate to see it. <laughs> you hate to see it. He's getting getting these. Uh, this is a little vent session. I don't mind it. Dean Cox, better coach than John Longmire. You heard it here from Alex Donnelly. <laughs> uh, Brody Grundy, loser, got towed by a backup. Uh, I'm not. I'm not having this. I, I know. Bad. He won, yeah, he won the hit out battle, but did. Didn't matter. He did, got a lot of. He got a lot of. For a bloke who basically like, was going to win the Brownlow after like round eight, I don't know. It's a bit <laughs> weird. Uh, speaking of winning the Brownlow, Heaney, brutal game, broken uh, broken foot. Uh, he never. Uh, uh, sort disposal of, wise, he's got 14, 19, 18, and thirteen in his last four games against. Yeah, but Brisbane. you only look at the last two, whereas before that he was a well, forward. No, I want to look at the last four. <laughs> but he was a forward. It doesn't count as he's. This is the season yeah. where he's been. Yeah. As good as he has well, ever been. So you, and nine, you look at the 19 and 14. This, yeah, was, a, this was a really, really tough game for him. But I mean, he's carrying an injury as well. Don't care. And other uh, players are other players are injured. Exactly. Yep. It's not yep. an excuse. Good call. It was just a bad, bad game. He he did try at the first quarter. He was very good. Also, Got a yeah. bit of the footy. Took that mark in the third quarter, but just no impact. He also he didn't have a heavy tag as well. Like Dunkley was near him at the start, and then no, he was always. No, but he wasn't all on him. I was trying to have a look while I was at the game. I don't think he was full on. He tag was him. watching it on the telly. He was there with him like the yeah. every time. He, he was. I felt like he wasn't like, there every single contest. No, but he, he also just anyway. like fully touted him. Just yeah, like, that's it. Dunkley's you got, got Dunkley. Boom. Yep. Uh, Logan McDonald. Yep. Oh. It's a tough one. He's had a bad one. This, but this also final. goes down on the medical team as well. Mm, yeah, but you could also get more than one disposal. How like, <laughs> do we know what the actual injury is? Ankle, because it was his ankle because he, he, he rolled it. He rolled it inwards yeah. Against, yeah. against Port Adelaide. Yeah, yeah, and he's had ankle problems before. I yeah, think. you just can't play. Nah. Well, yeah, it's easier to say in hindsight, but uh, yeah, if you only get one disposal and your ankle stuff, what are you time. doing? And apparently during the week he was very ginger. So mm. should have played Caden Cleary. That's racist, anyway. Uh, Wayne Carey. <laughs> Loser. Why? I don't know. Probably didn't watch it. Uh, <laughs> he didn't watch the game. He doesn't watch footy anymore. He hasn't watched footy anymore. <laughs> yeah. He was just, it was such so a. He, so he would have got, 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 like got no two. cashies this week. No, yeah. he just, he would have been blissfully unaware that there was footy going on because he <laughs> gave up watching footy in like round two. <laughs> yep. He was just so aggrieved at the umpiring. Good callback. Amazing work. Uh, and losers, BT. That was mm. a legacy squashing call. He was, was. We'll call him. We'll talk him up. Then we're the gonna, finals. We're going to get Hutto and Matt Hill on Foxtel next year. It's going to be had, great. That'd be good. He'd had such a fan, like pretty decent run in this final series yeah, as well. Yeah. That was one of the shocking grand final calls. Consistently mixing up players, calling Chris Fagan Dennis Pagan. Yeah. It's just I don't even know what part of the brain possible, yeah. process is. Just like, ah, <laughs> oh, yes, the grand final coaches are John Longmire and. Brain freeze, Dennis Pagan. From like, 20 years ago? Why, yeah. do you, why did your brain even think that? It's weird. What that are you is, doing, BT? Uh, just mixing up players, horrible calls. Like there was the great call where I think uh, the missing of the goal that sailed through, I want to say there was one pretty early on and he just completely butchered the call, ah. missed it. He's like, oh, and he sailed it as it sails directly through. You're like, what is he watching? <laughs> what is happening here? This is bizarre. Anyway, he had a Barry Crocker shot. He shotgun. did, he did. Sure. And then finally, the really big loser from this one, uh, Alex Donnelly oh. of the <laughs> AFL Today Show on Hold All Tickets, uh, goes to grand finals and all they do is lose them. Uh, I've been to a winning one. He, oh, there know. you go, there you go. Yeah. He might be the mocker. <laughs> Which sounds like a Happy Meals toy, but not if not an actual what? Macca's Happy Meal toy. But if you go to like Red Rooster, it's one of the knockoff Happy Meals. Oh, the mocker! Like yeah, Stats guy yeah. likes Red Rooster kind of. Like. No, uh, no, definitely not. But it's more like the Happy Meals where they have like, oh, here's the toy, and it's like, but you're going to Red Rooster, they don't have any really good licenses, so you get like one from like Shrek Four. You're like, Your mind hell, works in yeah. mysterious yeah. ways, but, but that's that's <laughs> it. Like you, that's the mocker. He pops up. It's going, actually, ah, it's actually Charlie because he's zero and three. Oh, he's zero and three. Finals. That's a really great yeah. reference to people who no one knows. Our boss Charlie is. Zero and three at Swans Grand Finals. I'm at least one and two. Still, that's back to back. 22, 24, Alex Donnelly. The mocker. <laughs> All right, tipping results. Yes. Stats boy. One of one. Finally turned up on the big stage. Thanks for coming. Never in doubt. <laughs> As opposed to I'm North out. Melbourne. <laughs> no, I was, I was happy with that. Brisbane, everyone thought they're going to get smashed. I've got a sandwich from Leo. I've got a sandwich from Alex. Let's go. Got sandwiches yep. coming out the wazoo. Very, very happy with that. Uh you also missed in your stats, stats boy, that Brisbane are the first <laughs> AFL and AFLW club to hold the premierships at the at same, same time. time. There you go. Not bad. I can't have all of them. That's right. That's so, thanks for I that. tip Sydney. Uh, Alex tip Sydney. 
Leo tips Sydney stats board. Do we have to go through all the other picks? <laughs> we went Norms. We've got Warner Heaney McCluggage. Who McCluggage was good in the first half. At, at quarter time, you were on. Yeah, McCluggage. I, I was like, I, already, I was on McCluggage as well, and I yeah. was like, we're feeling this. Let's go. And then third quarter, just, he went missing. Last quarter, he was good again. Yeah. Good again. Warner as well for uh, Leo. We've got most goals. Danaher. He could have kicked the most goal. He kicked two or four. <laughs> my, my, <laughs> two or four. My big call on Thursday was he would kick four goals. He I'm probably should have. Yeah. He's missed one from 10 metres out, missed one from three centimetres out. Like, come on, man. Uh, Amadi, Papley, Warner. No. Uh, nah. First goal, Cameron, Warner, Rayner, Cameron. Cameron, so, yeah, bit of a probably should have got the first goal. Bit of a tough yeah. one for the AFL Today Show, but, you know, you get that on the big jobs. <laughs> right. Full credit to the boys. Best team of the weekend, Hawthorne. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> Hang on a bloody they, minute. They, they <laughs> that was hotball stuck in. <laughs> they beat Brisbane. <laughs> they, 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 all they do is beat premiers. That's what they do. It's amazing. I love it. Oh, it's one of the great stats. Last, what was funny. it, last five? Yeah. That's absurd. Can I, well, can I just say North Melbourne? Because we've got all these uh, trade rumors actually looking yeah, like they could go Yeah, you're getting Jack Darling. But no, obviously, obviously Brisbane. Yeah, you're getting Jack Darling and Luke no, no, Parker. No, no, just Dan Houston. had 14 touches in the grand final. Dan Houston. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, he kicks very good. I mean, he can bring September experience to North Melbourne. I got yeah. no idea what that is. We're going to be no, winning the flag next Best year. team of the weekend, Brisbane. Awesome, <laughs> awesome, awesome gear. Now, awesome. best on ground of the weekend. Ooh. Most entertaining. I want to give this to Joe Dano. Oh, every week is Joe Because. <laughs> most entertaining. Like, watching Will Ashcroft and Kyle Lohman was absolutely fantastic. I love Kyle Lohman. Stats Boys are going to talk about him again in a second. Yeah. But there is something magical about a grand final that – Brings the best out in a Joey D kind of entertainment. That's two grand finals in a row. It's amazing. It's just like, we're going full Joey D today, boys. You're like, strap in. Let's go. We're going to ride the lightning. It's going to be absolutely <laughs> fantastic. It was so fun. He's like, for my next trick. <laughs> I'll like, kick it sideways. He turns a magician. He's like, I am going to kill an eagle as it flies past. There was like, also one, what is going on? There was also one point he let rip from about 85 meters yeah. out. It got to the top of it the square. It was right there too. Yeah. It was awesome. He just gave her that booming left leg that's very reminiscent of your mate Jim's and uh, <laughs> absolutely <laughs> snagged it. So wouldn't put it past him. At the same time, he's like, check this out. I'm going to kick it into a box and knock out Katy Perry. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? Oh. Joey do yes, mate. So what an awesome game that was. Because I think we even hit on this in the Thursday show. He could completely not show up. He could win the Norm Smith. Yeah. This was somewhere kind of like on the Norm Smith level. Because by the time he kicked that second goal, he just kicked literally it was, straight, yeah. it's over. Pack her up, boys. We're done. That was part of the call as well. Yep. And uh, you're like, yeah, that will probably do it. It was such a fun, fun experience that I just loved it. Kyle Oman comes a very close second. Alex. Big O. Just the way he celebrated <laughs> and carried great. on. Yeah. I, I actually don't mind Any, that. Anyone else, given like he is the number one Ruckman, like could have done a Taylor Adams, not get on the plane and come to Brisbane to support the team. Yeah, that's a flog move, Taylor Adams. And he's just everywhere going, this is sick. So I think my favorite part about the Big O experience is that you know he's completely 100% genuine. Yeah, yeah, he's like the nice. Apparently, like, he's the nicest guy exactly. ever. Yeah. There is yeah. no skerrick of he's stunting. Yeah, there's no, there's no stunting with Big O. He, you, what you see <laughs> is what you get. He's, this big guy. Also, he's got dude, a great nickname. These huge arms. He's just like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I just love everybody. And he wears <laughs> he runs everything so weird on well, his yeah. face. Yeah. Every emotion, sadness. Happiness, yep. all the other ones from inside out too. Like that's all. <laughs> I watched that on the weekend; it's pretty good. Um, but there's absolutely no like two facedness to it. Like yeah, it was one hundred percent genuine. I love that. So that's why. Yeah, uh, obviously you can go Ashcroft. At the game, I think he was the uh, yeah Norm Smith. But Kai Loman, three crucial goals when the game was on the line. Was it the second quarter? He's kicked three goals. Just a couple that were close to the boundary. Just awesome for his first ever grand final. So young to do that on the big stage. Four goals, 15 disposals, four tackles. He's 21. He's so good. Everyone was talking up Archie. You know what I was goals. doing when I was 21? What were you doing? Not kicking Drinking four goals tins. in the grand final. You got two, right? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, to yeah. be fair, I would have been booting a uh, footy around probably the back streets of Ballarat. 21? Ooh. Yeah. Back streets half of Ballarat. Time, Sounds half like time, a movie. Half time of the grand final. <laughs> Absolutely off chops. Just Nice. Yeah, sending balls left, right, and center on the neighbor's roof. Did you have good hair like Kyle Loman as well? Actually, 21-year-old me might have actually had <laughs> yeah. hair that was just dark Kyle Loman. Nice. That's weird. I don't even think about that. Maybe you're more alike than you think. Yeah, checks mm. out. There you go. Anyway, he kicked, yeah, three crucial goals. Uh, just to do that, four goals, same as Archie, but Loman was when the game was more on the line. Archie got a few more junk time goals, few few easy ones, whereas Loman was just awesome. And kicked he's, one in the first quarter. Yeah, but I'm saying Loman kicked three when the game was on the line is when they were making their charge and he was awesome. So he's my best on ground. Loved it. Oh, mate, no, mates. Uh, BT. Yep, simple <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I everybody. love this. is just your thread through the There's show. BT about three times. Everybody <laughs> just came after him and rightly so. That was like... <laughs> 
they're trotting out Bruce for this final series, right? And yep. then you are watching BT just have an absolute nightmare of a call. It happens, but we deserve better. Like yeah. commentary is tough. It's a tough game. He's had some good grand finals, but this yeah, wasn't but one of them. To get so many things wrong is just inexplicable. Mm -hmm. And it just, I don't know if it smacks of lack of preparation. I don't know mm. if the moment sort of just gets a bit weird. You're a bit older. You're just like, oh, I'm having a bit of a senior moment, perhaps something like that. <laughs> it just sucked. And everyone rightly came after him because I think footy fans deserve a better cooler for the biggest moment in a huge, amazing season. Yep. Like they were bored at after half time. Yeah, you got yeah. like there was still some awesome goals. Someone was like the prelim the week before. Exactly, yeah. they yeah. just didn't know what to do. It's there was like, still big marks, big like, goals. Exactly, there yeah. was so much stuff going on that you mm. can dig into. You can literally spend a, like a half a game crowning the Lions. That's yeah, Chris fine. Fagan. Or anything. But you can also. This is my biggest problem with this sort of stuff. You can also then go into what's not working for the Swans and why it's not working. Mm. You go right. What happened in twenty twenty two? What did they do in response to that? How have there was they no responded? Analysis. Yeah, yeah, like how have they stuff. responded since 2022? What did they learn from that moment? What did they learn from that game? And nothing happened. It yep. was shocking. They're just like, there were large patches of just silence. It was weird. Yep. Mm. I hated it. So Brayshaw had a horrible call to finish the game as well. And that just sort of was like the crappy topping on a crappy Sunday. You're like, this yep. was just a Barry Crocker shocker of a call. And the thing is, like, yeah, you can tune into SEN. And like listen along to like radio commentary, you're probably better off. Like that was absolutely horrible. Anyway, yep, Alex Longmire, uh, <laughs> old mate, no mate, can't stand him. Jesus. Old mate, no mate, sorry, uh, sure. Uh, that's fair. Is he? Yeah, yeah, uh, that's enough. That checks out. Fair enough. Yeah, every Swans <clears throat> fan is just going. Just throwing I haven't. Moves. I honestly it's have not. It's not just his fault, though. They didn't. Yeah, half but, his players were like, "Oh, I forgot how to play footy. And I'm not even going to tackle. I'm not going to do this." You can't blame it all on John. Well, you, you can when nah. it's four when it's four straight grand finals that you've lost, and it has been different players throughout the time, and seemingly on grand final day, mm. he doesn't make changes no, I agree and he with that. freezes. It's, it's not just his fault. Start when your team is winning again. <laughs> Next year, you'll understand the pain. <laughs> nah. All right, stats boy, old mate, no mates. Uh, just the whole Swans forward line. I think, uh, yeah, as John Long, I, I agree you didn't make some good decisions and things like that, but their forward line is just so bad. You got McLean at seven touches, Amadi seven touches, uh, Hayward six touches, only one goal between them, and you include McDonald in there with the one touch. Their forward line, other than Pap well, Papley had one goal, Hayward had one goal, that's it. That's their forward line. They got a that is really, Does that really come bad. down to the midfield who was delivering it terribly Definitely to them? Definitely uh, so. to that, but I think it's more of that. As the a grand final team, forwards have to make their own. So Charlie Cameron was pushing up the ground, there was players pushing up the ground, there was nothing like that from Sydney. And I thought it was just really disappointing and a bit embarrassing. It was like Amadi looked lost at times. Yeah. Hayden McLean took a big clunker and yeah. kicked a goal. Nah, missed it. Missed it. Should have kicked um, it. And you're like, that's what you expect. And then Hayward just MIA for there the only as well. Two less inside 50. I know the inside 50s weren't nowhere near Mate, as the good, inside 50s, were, 50s, the inside, yeah, inside 50s, 50s, 50s were landing 45 meters yeah. out. I don't know how they turned into suddenly Carlton and Port. Like it was bizarre. Yeah. It's two grand finals in a row. It's like, that's oh, geez, in, yeah. we're just, we're, what's up with your market? This no. comes back like, to you got why Harrison, you got Harrison yeah. Andrews and you got Jack. Pain, he likes planes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was awesome. But that's why Swans fans are so mad. It's because we've seen it and you'd think they would have learned. And <laughs> so I haven't seen Swans fans this united in something since 2016. Nice. Oh. All right. Good call, though, stats by like that. Thank well, you. I can't stand BT. That was just. BT <laughs> <laughs> again. <laughs> He's back. Just the comments. So, why I can't stand? We love footy. Yep. <laughs> and when you have a call like that, that, hey, just getting stuff wrong. But when you have an entire half to dig into, like, the glory aspect of it for Brisbane and, like, what is going wrong for Sydney and you just don't do your job, can't stand it. Agreed. Just do it. Footy fans deserve better. Alex. Essendon fans getting chirpy. <laughs> I've literally got that yes. as well. Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, sort of. Awesome. Alex on Twitter you had a few arguments. It's like weekend. Carlton lost to Brisbane and Collingwood fans are coming after Carlton fans. Yeah. I'm like, what? Yeah. They didn't even make the final. They're the last Shush. people. Like, Collingwood fans can throw some. They did win the flag last year, so it's, it's like, fun. hey, they got the job done on grand final day. But Essendon fans, no, they can't say anything. <laughs> who have not won a final in what is it like twenty years? Yeah, twenty years. Yep. haven't got close to even getting past you know round twenty four. <laughs> throwing the ah, oh, sucked in Sydney. It's like, right, oh, the Swans haven't lost you in two years and continually make finals and won two finals this year, which is two more than you in twenty years. Also, two flags since you last won a final. Mm. So Essendon fans. 
win something, then you can throw lip. I'll pay that. Yep. Stats boy. Yeah, I agree with Alex. I wrote down just Twitter and ex-keyboard warriors. There's a lot going on on that Twitter. There was even a guy that was uh, tweeting towards the Sydney chairman. Yeah, that why, was weird. Why, it was a Collingwood why fan. Are you, why are you tweeting at the Sydney Collingwood chairman? Collingwood fans had a with very him. weird one on Saturday. Yeah. I, I've been copping relentless abuse. Yeah. I'm just like, <laughs> good. Why? No. <laughs> Wait, why? Yeah. Uh, maybe just don't tweet if you, about Sydney. Wait, you're trying to tell me that Alex copped it on the internet? <laughs> wow. Anyway, I, yeah, I agree. There was a few. There was a lot of people on Twitter and X. Just yeah, why I can't stand. Just shut up if you're not in the finals, and you don't have any leg to stand on Essendon. Collingwood. I mean, definitely. Richmond fans could throw lip at you. Know, ah, we beat you. But yeah, there's I, just like personal attacks online, which no one wants. It is one of the weirdest weird. compunctions. Mm, keyboard. It's like, ha! I've got them. It's like you don't have them. You're, you're behind <laughs> your laptop, you just doing? talking crap. Just shush. Yeah. It's like it's akin to like bagging a player because your multi didn't get it. It's just oh the yeah, exactly the same people the probably yeah. dumbest thing in the world. Right, that was the grand final that was. Oh. We had a lot to talk about. We've talked a lot. Yeah. <laughs> what about <laughs> next year? Oh, We're going to host AFL 360 because it's literally just been it announced. Literally just, I was oh, about to say that. Yeah. So it just broke then. <laughs> that Robo. Is that the moon? Is that the moon? No, it's Robbo leaving 360. Oh, Mark my Robinson God. set to leave through AFL 360. Yes, I will be the next host. <laughs> no. And then being like, wow, well, I'm going to Jimmy on here again. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Jerry, is that the moon? I reckon you could take it. You could just sub in and they wouldn't sub even Sub in, realize. no one would notice. Nah, I'd have eight just get the soul patch up. going. I reckon you'd be great. Nah. Uh, Robbo, Offy, I love Mark Robinson. He's just, in terms of singular personalities, he is one of one. <laughs> yep. And like 360 just, it's such a unique footy property that I love it. Like, there's nothing like it is comfort. still the most popular. For a dummy like me, it's comfort food. I just sit yeah. down yeah. like during the week. The squids will be in bed. Fox Footy, you you know, it does the replays. Mm -hmm. You know, after you think. So I don't usually get to watch it live. Boom, replay. I'm just like, oh, yes, Robo and Gerald, this is great. <laughs> we go. Uh, can't wait for Coach's Corner. Anyway, the um, Robo leaving Stats Boy. I assume that's what you're uh, you're up for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, that old footy classified if they pay me the big bucks like we talked about last week. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll have to wait and see. No, nah, you're a bit more of a Jared, so maybe it's Alex taking it for a robot. <laughs> yeah. You're the closest to Robert. you gotta yell about <laughs> you got to yell about Essendon once every couple of weeks and, yeah. you, and then sack, sack Ken a few times and you go. Yeah, I, I did that every year. I like that. All right. Next year's odds. Top Sport odds. Brought to you by topsport.com.au, the home of footy finals. Obviously, still NRL finals going on. Go Storm. Uh, <laughs> Are they in it? Next year, <laughs> the 2025 AFL Premiership odds are... This is wild. The Brisbane Lions at $6. Fair enough. Sydney Swans at 7 Then on $8, the Hawthorne Hawks, stats boy. What? Hawk ball! They're getting Barass and uh, who else are they getting? Uh, I've completely... Battle, yeah. They're, is that is that And they're going to lose Frosty and possibly Finn McGuinness. But that's not third in the favourites. Third favourite, really? equal with Carlton and GWS. Don't know about that one. I don't mind the GWS one, though. Mm. But, I mean... I say, we, say that, we say that every year. We do it. We say, oh, GWS, they've got really good odds. After that, the Pies at $10. Could they do a Geelong? I really, really like the Pies. I think that might be... My early pick is the Pies for next So what, Geelong win a 22 flag? Mm-hmm. Yeah, missed Drop the finals off, last yeah. year. Same as the pies. Make the finals and make a prelim this year. Uh, pies win the flag last year. Missed the finals this year. Bounce back? Question mark? Maybe. Yeah. Geelong swing rich twelve dollars. Same as the Western Bulldogs. Ooh. So those are your top eight favorites. Okay. That's Lions, that's... Swans, Blues, Giants, Dockers, Hawks, sneaky, but pies, maybe. cats, dogs. Then you go down to the next tier, which is the Dockers at fifteen. The Port demons Adelaide. are playing the same as the crows. That's pretty funny. Port Adelaide Power at 16. The Crom at 31 as well as the Ds. <laughs> That's wild. Hear me now. Thank me later. The Essendon Bomb Rays. 51 <laughs> big dollaritos. That is way too short, I reckon. Gold Coast, $51 as well. Imagine being an Essendon fan and looking at that going, we're the same as the Suns and the Saints. Mm. And Ugh. Then, then realizing, yeah, that's probably right. West Coast, on a tier by themselves, randomly at $81. I can't quite see that happening, Stats Boy. Don't know how you feel about it, but... No, well, no, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Andrew McWalter. Uh, and the North Melbourne Kangaroos, your beloved Roos at 101? Yeah, that's probably too low as well. That should be a million. And the Tigers at 151. Yeah, that should be a lot higher as well. Tigers especially should be about the 500 pies, to 1. Pies almost went from worst to first a few years ago. What are you saying Tigers? You just can't see the Tigers <laughs> doing it though, can you? Well, they get, half their players are gone. They're exactly. already last on the ladder. Ruse either. 
Mm. Uh, no. Nah. No, let's just stick to the... All right, best value then. Best value, I'd say, is Collingwood because they've done it before. They've got the same list. $10, $10. I think is really good. If they if they stay healthy next year? I kind of want to say JWS, but I think every end of season I say JWS and then they crumble, so I'm not saying them again. I mean, Brisbane are just going to get stronger. They're getting in an Ashcroft, plus they've got Tom Doody to come back. Uh, plus Link McCarthy, Coleman? Kitty Coleman. Yeah, true, true. And there was someone else that went down. Darcy Gardner, Gardner went yeah. down. So there's, there's four dudes come... Straight that's actually away. crazy because they've yep. all been their best team. Well, that's that's part but of like, the amazing story for this Brisbane. Flag. We didn't talk about that. Yeah, it's like two and five heading into what round seven. That's in that, but everyone went down in that second. Exactly. In that they second win against Gold Coast. Eight, Three ACLs. Eight, ACLs five ACLs. Or was it five? Yeah. The, well, dude, didn't season, even come back from his ACL. Well, I think there was five people that were out this season due to ACL. Yes, right? yes, and yes. So yes. that was like not losing. What was it? Uh, Link McCarthy. Link McCarthy. Yep. That sucked. And there was Kitty the, Coleman was Kitty a Coleman he's was a massive injury brutal against the Blues. And they had to put Zorko. We didn't even talk about that. They had to put Zorko off half back, and that worked well. So yeah, you're right. That would be even stronger next year if all their players are healthy. Maybe something wrong with that Gabba grass. A shame. Anyway, <laughs> uh, dimensions. So they should be stronger. But six dollars heading into a season is a bit tough. I reckon that's a bit short, but they do. They are deserved favourites of this. Of course, I think Carlton is like equal third favourite. Eight dollars is a joke. Carlton so. and Hawthorne are too high in the uh, favourites for me. Yeah, Hawks, Carlton are a bit, oh, yeah, how you going? I still think GWS. I think it's just. <laughs> I say, we say that all the time, though. They did have a 44-point lead against the Brisbane Lions and cooked it. So, anyway, there you go. Those are brought to you by topsport.com.au. Go check it out. All the really fun, fun futures for next year. Mm. And you can also keep track of all your AFLW betting. Yes. Top Sport. Round six is right there, too. Flag ruse. Right. Yes. That will do it for the AFL Today Show for today. We will be back later this week, though. Oh, thank God. So no longer will we be doing three shows a week. Uh, we'll be having one show following this grand final wrap. Uh, it'll be midweek this week, probably Wednesday, uh, which will be wrapping up. We'll be grading every team's year. That's going to be fun. Ugh. We'll go team by team, similar to how we did the so, season preview. Will this be from what we thought at the start of the season to the end result? Result. Okay. Just the result. Right? Result. Yeah. Where they finish, what happened. Oh, we can we can put it all together, yeah. and then yeah. as part of that, what they need to do to succeed for next year mm-hmm. in the off season. So for trades, who they should be targeting, what they need in the draft, all that good sort of stuff. And then from that, we'll also do some trade stuff, some draft stuff. Yeah, October sixteenth. I've just looked up is the last uh, night for the trade, so yep. we'll be doing something on that as well. We'll be doing a live, a live, trade, yes, which would be very fun. So make sure you're all over the AFL Today show feed on the socials as well as the podcast as well. Thank you to the Stats Boy. Thank you. And Got thank lines. you to a very, very, very glum, covered in tears. Thanks for turning up. Many, many would say tear stain. It did take a lot of, uh, what's the opposite of cowardice? <laughs> you didn't need to say that. <laughs> I'm just saying, the opposite uh, of cowardice to actually rock up. Courage. I, I feel like we could have gone harder, Stats Boy, but you know. Well, yeah, probably. As one of our very best friends, we already know that he's hurting. <laughs> I feel like you would have gone harder. Yeah, we yeah, already right. know that he's just carrying around just like this sadness deep inside of him where he's lost four straight grand finals now and he's just like, what are we doing And I was, I was on the hill Friday when the Swans oh, yeah, lost the, the Swans W. Lost to, to the my, Bulldogs who were like one of the worst teams. My, my horse got injured the week before. Oh, it was a bad week. Oh. His face looks like that. I mean, it's just... <laughs> It's just it's coming mean, all, like, it's all over the show. Right, it's necessary, but, but it's true. brutal. <laughs> it is absolutely brutal. Like, he's just on a hiding to nothing is Alex Donnelly, but thank you for showing up. Well done, well done. Remember yeah. to smash a like across all the social channels for the AFL Today Show. It is Aussie Rules Today over on the old face. Here. We'll be doing a lot of weird, fun throwback stuff across the off-season as well. Subscribe to and like all of our other shows across your podcast apps and YouTube as well. We have the Cricket Today podcast, Football Today podcast, NBA Australia, NFL Australia, and... AFLW today. Yes. Which is absolutely smashing. Good show today, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. It was very good. good. Thanks. We, we went on, we went on <laughs> a couple, was really bad today. couple of different <laughs> tangents because we finally found a very good hot chip in the AFLW places. Oh, I'll tell you Whit what. Whitten Oval. You said chip, right? Yeah, yeah chip. <laughs> chip. Chip. Hot chips. Jeez. All right. Pun road, not so good. Okay. Get around all of those shows like the Swans getting around another grand final loss. They love nothing more. And having their heads kicked into grand final. Get around the Lions. Congrats to a massive, awesome season from the Brisbane Lions. As we said, laid it out, two and five, losing dudes left, right, and center into ACLs. Awesome. Uh, mid-season, who knows what's going to happen. They're going to miss the eight. They get all the way up to second. Blow top four by losing the what? The Pies and GWS. Win Absolutely from fifth. Strong. Win the flag from fifth. What is that, the second team in the last 
twenty four years since That's since it's since the, they've moved to this system where they used they used to do the old system was first versus eighth since yeah. they've moved to the top four system. I feel like I think it's the first team uh, from fifth to win as well. That's awesome. Yeah, legendary stuff. Congrats to all the Lions, all the Lions fans out there. We had a bunch in the live stream last yes. week as well, which was very fun. So hopefully get around the comments. Enjoyed it. Uh, and actually, Supercoach, friend of the Supercoach show, DR, oh, big yeah. Lions fan. He nice. had a great day. Great day. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All right, we'll catch you later this week for a big setup for your trade periods and wrap up every team for this season. More AFL today. Until then, look after yourselves. Congrats to the Lions. Sucked in Swans and footy is not back. What are you really gambling with? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.